Hi, I am Myrna Loy of Black White News, which can be found at www.issueissuu.com. And today's video is about the side chick, the other woman, the concubine. Um, I have my views. Um, I'm sure men have their views on how important having a bit on the side is to the welfare of their relationship. I have a lady on this phone who's done a short video, a very, very short video, on why she feels a side chick is essential to the well-being of her marriage. Now, I'd be interested in having your views. I'll certainly be giving mine at the end of this video. I know very many married women will then begin to, to maybe even attack or oppose my position, but I feel that side chicks are important. We need in society to acknowledge the importance of these people and stop marginalizing them. Some of us are tired. You've had three children. You must still have a career and kill in houses. Then you must come home and service somebody. But if you outsource and allow others to service, you arrive to a happy man. Well, I know. if you outsource your partner, you arrive to a happy man. I'm not quite sure because the thing is, is that um, for me personally, I guess I am, I could be considered a possessive woman, but I wouldn't like to know that my partner is out there with another woman. What, where would my enjoyment be? I mean, okay, she says the woman has to look after the children, she has to um, clean the house and she has to work and she has to have a career. Now, in order to have the children, she had to have sex with her husband. And to me, it seems like having sex with your husband has become a chore and has become a job that she wants to outsource to a third party. For me, if I have a relationship with someone, that is the only kind of enjoyment you get. So why the hell would you outsource it? And I shouldn't say it's the only enjoyment you can get, but you're assuming that, you know, in her case, life seems to be a chore. I would like to think that you marry somebody or you're partnered with somebody who makes you laugh, who you can do things together. And then ultimately, at the end of the day, if you want to wind down in each other's arms and let lovemaking ensue, it will do so. So I beg to disagree with her opinion. But I can see for those people who are not really in love with their husbands, who are not sexually compatible with their husbands and who um, either don't like sex or have gone off of sex or sex is too painful or they can't be bothered because they are tired, I can understand their reasoning behind um, outsourcing their husbands or their partners to someone else. But then what they're advocating is the raw part of the deal, the raw part of the relationship because all she's left with is the hard work. So that's my point of view. I'd be interested in getting yours. So over and out peeps and look forward to seeing you again. Bye.